Browser Basics. Do you want to be able to get a new job or change careers? These days, you need to be able to navigate the internet to do that. Navigate means find your way, like you would do while driving or hiking. This video will show you how to navigate the internet. I will introduce you to web browsers, address bars, menus, hyperlinks, and tabs. I will do this on a Microsoft Windows PC or personal computer. There are several different web browsers. Microsoft Edge is included with most PCs that run Windows. This means it's automatically installed. Safari is included with Macintosh or Apple computers. Other browsers like Google Chrome or Firefox need to be downloaded from the internet. The computer you are using right now may not have all these browsers. You may even have a different browser installed. That's okay. What I will show you will work with most browsers. True or false? Google Chrome is automatically installed on computers with Microsoft Windows. False. For PCs that run Microsoft Windows, you must download Google Chrome. On a PC, there are four ways to open a web browser. The first way is if you have a browser icon on your desktop or taskbar. Just hover the cursor over the icon with your mouse and double click the left side of your mouse. Double click means click twice. The second way to open a browser on a PC is to click the Windows key, scroll down to find the browser and click on it. The third way on a PC is to type the name of the browser in the search bar. Once it appears, click on it. For the last way, you need speech recognition. Click on the microphone to ask the assistant to open the web browser you want. Open Edge. All right, starting Edge. The assistant on Microsoft Windows 10 is Cortana. Using speech recognition is a great way to practice your pronunciation. Okay, so you have your browser open now. At the top, you will see the address bar. You can type in the URL of a website you want to go to. On websites, you will see menus. These menus will help you navigate or find information. Some menus will appear at the top of the screen. To use these menus, hover your cursor over them. Sometimes choices will appear. The arrow on your cursor may change to a hand if you can click on something. If you can click on something, it is called a hyperlink. It will take you to a different location on the same web page or to a different site. When you hover over something, the color of the font or background may also change. Text may become underlined. This means you can click on it. If you're not sure what you can click, look for words that are in bold or in different colors. You can also look for words that are underlined. Menus on other websites may have drop-down menus. To access the drop-down menu, click the arrow. On some websites and mobile devices, a menu might look like two or three horizontal lines, lines on top of one another. Click on those lines to see the menu. True or false? You can click on a hyperlink. True. Hyperlinks will take you to other areas inside or outside a website. At the top of a browser, you will see a plus sign. If you click on this, it will open another tab. You can then type in a different web address. You will see that each tab has its own title and favicon or icon. Most people don't know the word favicon. You can switch back and forth between tabs by clicking on them. You can close tabs by clicking the X. Why would you want to have other tabs open? You may want to reference other information. Let's say you are applying for a job and want to write a cover letter. You may want your document open in one tab, the job advertisement in another tab, and the company web page in another. You may want to reference information you find in the job ad in your cover letter. Tip. If you have a large monitor, you can do this. You can open a tab in a new window and then split your screen so you can see both tabs at the same time. You just click and hold down the left side of the mouse on the title bar and drag it to one side of your screen until it fills half your monitor. 
Then click on the other window you want to appear on the opposite side. Try to avoid opening too many tabs. It will slow down your computer. It may also distract you from your work or studies. I know that if I'm working, I want to limit seeing if I have new emails coming in or new social media notifications. Closing tabs for those kinds of notifications helps me focus on my work. True or false? It is always a good idea to have email and social media tabs open while working. False. Set aside time to check your email and social media. This will help you concentrate. As I've shown you, there are four different ways to open web browsers, and there are several different types of menus and hyperlinks on websites. You can use tabs for referencing, but try not to let them distract you from your work. Good luck with your web browsing. Want more eSkills? Please subscribe to our channel and watch more of our videos.